it's uh, Jeff here at Budrum. Um, this evening I'm going to cook up some fish. I'm going to show you two ways that we cook the fish. Um, if you saw my video I put on YouTube yesterday, you would realise that we got a really good catch a couple of days ago. And um, so we've got heaps of fish. So, um, so what I'm going to do is the first thing, the first way I'm going to do it, I've, I've made a, uh, a tomato stew and uh, I had some tomatoes in the freezer that I got from the fruit shop and uh, what I did was I, uh, uh, I warmed them up and uh, blended them and strained out all the seeds and the skin so I just got this tomato soup and I've, in that I've cooked some uh, pinto beans I've got some green pork for, uh spinach, green banana, shallots, spring onions uh, what else? So it's a really nice. Um, what I'm going to do is, because we've got a double portion of fish, we're not going to have a real lot of uh, the other stuff. And um, so what I'm going to do is just turn the stove on. Yeah, there. I'm just going to put a couple of spoons of this in there, and just uh, just enough for the two of us <coughs> only. And. Uh, Uh, it's quite liquidy, so I'm just going to. I've got a couple of skinless fillets here that was from the Maori cod. Um, that's a, so with the Maori cod, you you fillet and skin them. So I'm just going to place them in there and um, just and then put the lid on and then just let them simmer until they're cooked. And I maybe just have to turn them over. Now in the other saucepan here. Um, I'm going to turn it on. Now, if you want to see deep fried fish, um, you have to find another video because we don't do deep fried fish. We don't. What I've got here is olive oil in the uh, fry pan. I've just turned it on, and I've got two bits of this uh, grey sweet lip. I've got the skin on them, and I've got some uh, self-raising flour here in the in this. Uh, Container and what I'm going to do is uh, just the fish is just wet. It's just damp. It's not ringing with water. It's not, but it's just dampish. So what I'm going to do is just roll it in this self-raising flour and uh, really uh, just coat it heavily in this self-raising flour so that the little bit of liquid that's on there is just going to give it a real uh, small. There's a scale on here. Just get a real light coating. So what I'm going to do is just just pat the the fillet so that you just shake off all the loose flour. So what you got is it's just sort of dry with a real thin skin on it. So I'm not going. To, well, I can put it in there now. So I'm just going to put it in there and uh, with the skin side down. So. I've been a commercial fisherman for oh, about 30 years and, and our children have all grown up and they, they're gone now but but they grew up on fish so we've tried fish hundreds of different ways of cooking fish uh, I saw this on, t on t TV once this uh, English bloke, a pommy bloke uh, cooked it like this, the chef and um, I thought gee that's a pretty good idea So. That's how I've been doing it ever since. Now, I suppose what you can do is season the fish with a bit of salt and pepper first, but we don't do that. We just sort of uh, season it once it's cooked. And uh, if you're using a, using a good uh, quality fish, well then you've got the, the flavour of the fish itself. So, uh, so what you're going to do is just uh, let the heat build up and just let it brown up on one side and then uh, turn it over so what we'll do is we'll come back when it's okay so our fried fish is ready to turn over uh, we're just turning it over you can see it's just uh, brown up nicely on one side and uh, it's just got a real thin type of batter on there so uh, how does that look you can see it, it looks all right Mickey? yes it looks nice now our other uh, fish over here is just simmering. Uh, this one over here is just coming to the simmer. 
so it's just a matter of uh, that's just a, it's in a, like on a small hot plate so it'll let the heat distribute in that one so what I'll do is, uh, is uh, when this is cooked I'll put it on the out of the end of the grill room on a bit of paper and wait for the other one to cook so we'll come back when that's done eh? ok so we've taken our two pieces of fried fish out and they're just uh, under the grill there and uh, you don't want to overcook the fish so it's just just nicely cooked so we're uh, you know, this Maori cod it's just uh, simmering nicely here and I'll, I'll put, put it back onto the warm hot under the bigger hot plate so you can see there that it's absorbing all the juice and uh, so, uh, we'll come back when it's when we plate it up eh? Okay. Okay, so we're just plating up now, as they say in the trade. <laughs> so um what we've uh, got uh, got our fried fish out. This is gonna be a pretty good meal I think. But uh oh this is just the purpose of doing the video and showing you the two ways that we cook it. Cook the fish and um so all the veggies except for the tomatoes came out of the garden. So I'm pretty pleased about that. Well the tomatoes and got them at the right price I can't complain about that oh, sorry yeah sorry that's that in the road no it's fine yeah no, it's lovely no. there you go well, that's what we're having for tea tonight oh well uh, we'll okay. go and enjoy it Okay, I've got a bit of sweet chili sauce to go on mine. Do you want a bit on yours? There's no, a little bit of chilli in the... In the That'll uh, be enough for me. Okay. okay. All right, well, thanks very much for watching and uh, hope I've inspired somebody to do something. I'll uh, catch you later. Bye.